Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and in today's video I'm going to be talking all about the male hormone cycle because that's a thing and um, we need to talk about it. So yes, men do have cycles. I know that's like a common question. I think it's a really interesting question and it's a really interesting thing to think about because it's not only women or people with periods that have cycles, like men do as well. And that is because men have about 10 times the amount of testosterone that women have. So even though we share the same sex hormones and you know, women have testosterone as well and men also have estrogen and progesterone, men are dominated by testosterone and testosterone does go through a 24 hour cycle and so what this means is that testosterone will be very high in the morning time and then gradually throughout the day levels fall to their lowest which is usually around bedtime and then the whole cycle starts again and a really fun way of thinking about this is that men cycle with the sun sun rises and sun sets and that's kind of the same uh, cycle that testosterone goes on and then women cycle with the moon and so it takes us about 28 days to go through a full cycle just like it takes the moon about 28 ish days to go through its full uh, four phase cycle as well the thing with the testosterone cycle is that men can feel more energized in the morning, more confident, more motivated, uh, maybe a little frisky. Um, those are like general feelings that one would experience if their testosterone is high. And then as the afternoon and the nightfall comes, levels do drop and that can bring about just a sense of like tiredness, maybe not as motivated, you know, you're kind of like winding down. I'm not trying to say that I know what the male experience is like, um, but I did ask my partner, I said, is this how you usually feel during the day? And can you give me some feedback on like how you feel? And he said, I don't really notice it. <laughs> So this is just what I have learned through research is that when testosterone is high, usually men are feeling pretty good. And then towards the night when testosterone is lower, it's usually like, you know, they're ready for bed. They're kind of not as motivated to do things or just like winding down, which I think like a lot of us obviously feel like. But according to my boyfriend, he doesn't even notice it. So who knows? Of course, there are a lot of things that can affect testosterone. So if you or your partner doesn't experience this, or if you're experiencing a lot of tiredness, or it's hard to get up in the morning, your libido has changed, like your weight has changed, or you're not very motivated, then maybe that would be something to look into because as you age, testosterone levels do naturally decrease and that can impact how you feel and stress can also impact how you feel as well as like diet and lifestyle. And so if you're not feeling like really that great, you know, as I say to everyone with a menstrual cycle out there, you know, if you are experiencing struggles and you feel like your hormones are imbalanced, like talk to someone. And the same thing can be said um, with men, like your health is really important. And if you're feeling like you're not waking up refreshed or your energy levels aren't that high, like you're dragging your butt, then maybe that is something to look into and maybe it would be good to get your testosterone tested just to see where you're at. And so, yeah, I hope you guys learned something in this video. I know that it was kind of short and sweet, but um, I just thought it was like really interesting to talk about. I'm no expert on this uh, topic, <laughs> obviously, but I think it's important to understand, you know, the different cycles that we go through. And of course our cycles, both both men and women can also be affected by like the season changes and there's been studies that show that testosterone levels could also potentially be affected by the season changes because the season changes obviously change um, the cycle of the Sun usually it's much darker in the morning or it's much darker at night and that can affect things all of that kind of stuff so I just think this is like really interesting I think it's really interesting to be aware of I love learning about this kind of stuff so hopefully you guys got something out of this video if you have any questions let me know I definitely recommend asking your partner or your friends if they notice any difference in their energy or like how they feel during the day when I asked my partner he's like I don't really notice anything um, but maybe that's because they're not really like in tune with it as uh, we are with our menstrual cycles you know because I think if you don't really know that you kind of go through cycles then and you don't really pay any attention. So anyways, I'll leave you with that. 
As always, I really, really appreciate you watching this video and I appreciate you supporting my channel. Your cycle matters so much, no matter if you're on a 24 hour cycle or a 28 day plus cycle, your cycle matters so much. And I'm here for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.